Hello everyone, in this video we will create a React and ChatGPT application and we will deploy this to GitHub. The first thing to do is to go to your GitHub and create a repo and then copy the link that is provided and later you can go to uh, any place in your computer that you want to place your project and then just open the command line and you can say git oops, you can say git clone and then paste the link and this will create an empty repository and then just grab the name here copy it go back to command line go inside your newly created folder and mpx create react app and put a dot and this will take a few minutes. Our React application is ready now. And the only thing that I need to install more is a package called OpenAI. npm install OpenAI. And also open your folder in VS Code. And now we can start to work on it. So the first thing is we need to make a cleanup of our React project. So just grab all the things that we are not going to be needing here these five files in source folder all of them and also go inside the public and delete everything except index.html and then open index.html and all those link tags delete them and also this one and also these blue commenting lines and then here you can say my app and also this no script you don't need and close it and then go inside the app.js and delete everything here and also these two lines that's also done and then go inside index.js delete everything here and then here it's also done and go index CSS delete all those things you can just say Verdana and background color it can be anything you know light golden yellow let's see and we are finished with index CSS as well so everything is, is done actually let's check if the package has been installed yes so I need to create a .env file here now and here let's say react App chat GPT API is equal to now we need to get our API keys from where is it here? Uh, this is OpenAI, but I mean to go to this website you need to type op beta OpenAI or you can just type let me show you platform OpenAI. Both of them will take you to the same website and here you need to create an account if you don't have it. And then just click on your name and view API keys. I have already created one but I will create one more right now. And click on it. And then go back inside your VS code and paste it here. And close it. So this is done. And then go inside the git ignore file and paste both the MB as well. And close this. If you're not going to do that, it will cause a, leak, a, a leaking of your API keys. And for that reason, OpenAI, I mean this uh, website, will rotate your keys. So you need to be careful to add these to your gitignore file. And I guess it's finished. So now we need to go to app.js. And here I have already created this component. It's actually nothing com nothing complicated. I will be sure. So as you can see here, I mean, is there anything complicated here? I mean, if you know some React, you will see that it's just a form element here, and this is a do tag because with form elements, sorry, with form element, we will be sending our input as questions to ChatGPT, and ChatGPT is going to send uh, a reply back, and then we will display that reply back inside here. Okay, so we will ask questions here and we will get answers here. And here 
I mean this part, let's say it's custom, it's, I mean this part, well, this part we need to code it, and also this part we need to add it, but this part here is actually a standard, I mean you just, we are just following the standard here. Uh, and here actually you can maybe try to understand what is written here, and here this prompt actually is what we are asking to ChatGPT, and what is going to ChatGPT. So in this case this prompt input is our input element entries. I mean whatever we enter inside the input it will be sent to here and then later it will be sent to ChatGPT. And this is a model they are saying that this model is expensive but I mean for our purpose it's just perfect. And the temperature is the creativity of ChatGPT in in its replies to you. So if you make it one, two, three, four, it will make the chat GPT more creative to answer your questions and max tokens is actually uh, every time you send a request every time you send a question to chat GPT it will cost you some money and this money is in parallel with these tokens so if you make it 1000 then it means that you can get an answer as big as 2000 characters or maybe 2500 characters something like that so if you can also make it like 50, but if you make it 50, it means that you can get an answer. Your answer can be maximum 120 characters, which is not enough in some cases. So 1000 is a good amount. And that's it. Instead, no, that's if I cool. now open chat GPT, if I say npm start, I should be able to get some replies back. So our website, as you can see, is working fine. And here, now, if I say, how are you, I should get a reply back from ChatGPT. And let's see how many seconds it will take. So, one, two, wow, it was quite fast actually, two seconds. Sometimes it can take up to 10 seconds, 15 seconds, it depends on the input length, I guess. So it means everything is fine here. Now we can just push this to GitHub. So I will say git add comma. Git. Let me just check if .env is there. Git status. No, it's fine. So git commit m. Let's say project finished. Git push origin main. And I guess it's done. Now we can go to our Netlify account. If you don't have, create one. Yeah, add a new site import an existing project and here we can say github and you just need to find your newly created project yeah it's here and now wait everything will be fine so deploy site yes now our project has been deployed to Netlify and let's now check it actually if it's gonna work and very probably it's not gonna work. Let's say how are you again. Right now we are not on the locals, but we are on the internet. So if I click on it, I don't get any replies back. And the reason is, uh, Netlify cannot access my .emv uh, API keys here. So, and of course I cannot push this file to GitHub. So to overcome this problem, you just copy your uh, variable name here and go back to Netlify where is it? It's here so let's say site settings and here environment variables opt in new experience add a variable paste it here and for the keys just grab everything here but don't use codes just the key okay I mean don't copy codes and paste it here and now you can create the variable and I guess now it's done. So just to make things working, I will be pushing this to GitHub again so that it can reload again. I will just do something simple. Submit question, let's see. And now let's go back to command line. So let's say git add all, git commit m, final push, git push origin main 
it's done. Now we can go back to our application on Netlify. So you see now it's building. We need to wait for a few seconds. It's now published. So now if I go back to this page, now if I type the question, I should get the answer back. Yes, it works. So that's how you create a React.js and ChatGPT API and Netlify application. And see you next time. Bye bye.